Rooster. Hello, Henry lad. <coughs> Are you okay, Rooster? You sound like you might have a cold. I'm fine, Henry. Don't mind me. <coughs> you think I'd be used to these cold winter mornings by now? Achoo! Was that a sneeze I heard? Sounds like someone could do with a flask of delicious warm soup. It's a little early for me, thanks, Flask. Oh, that reminds me. I really should be getting to work. I have a job to do. What job is that, Rooster? I have to wake the farmer up so he can feed all the animals. They get awfully grumpy when they don't get their breakfast. Hmm, Rooster, how do you know when it's time for breakfast? Good question, Henry lad. I just look over there to the east, and when the sun rises, I know it's time to wake everyone up. Good morning, everyone. It's wakey up time. Hello, son. How are you today? I feel all aglow inside, Henry. I love brightening everyone's day with my warming rays of sunshine. Ready whenever you are, Rooster. Right to son. Here goes. <coughs> <coughs> oh, no, Henry. I don't think I can crow. My throat's too sore. Maybe try one more time, Rooster. <coughs> what am I going to do? If I can't wake the farmer up, the animals won't get fed. If only there was someone else around to help feed all the animals. That gives me a great idea, Rooster. I could become a farmer and I could help feed all the animals. That's a great idea, Henry. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Hop your seatbelt on and I'll take it from there, Henry. First stop, the pig sty. Good morning, Mummy Pig. I hope you and all your little piglets are hungry, hungry, hungry. Oh, they certainly are, Henry. Come along, piglets. Here you go, piggies. Now, everyone, what do you all say to Henry? Thank you, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Hello, cow. Howdy, Henry. Chirp, 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 chirp. Hello, chicks. Hello, Henry. <laughs> Hello, sheep. Hello, Henry. <coughs> Hello, ducks. <coughs> I see the pond is frozen over. Oh, it has, Henry. It's frozen solid. Oh, that's no good. No, it's not, Henry. In fact, that's terrible. Do you know what else is terrible? A perfectly good flask of soup going to waste. Anyone fancy a mug? <coughs> no, thank you, flask. Oh, no, Henry. If the pond is frozen over, that means... The water mill will be frozen over too, and we won't be able to grind the flour, which means we won't be able to make any bread to feed to the ducks. It's okay, Rooster. We just have to work out a way of melting the ice. How about a lovely warm mug of soup to help you all think? Not right now, Flask. Are you sure? It's like a big warm ball of sunshine in your tummy. That's it, Flask. We need heat to melt the ice. And I think I know just who can help. Okay, son. Ready, steady, shine! Oh! 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 Yay! <laughs> Good work, everyone. Every single animal has been fed. Not quite everyone, Henry. Oh, no, Rooster. It looks like there's no food left. Oh, yes, there is. And now it's lunchtime. Mmm, that's delicious, thanks, Flask. And it's gone and soothed me sore throat and all. Cock the noodle! Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> my mum calling me, Rooster. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping to feed all the animals. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met. A football. Football. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Football? I feel fantastic, Henry. 
Did you know? I love bouncing. In fact, I love bouncing so much I could bounce forever and ever and ever. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, football. Oh. <laughs> Wow, look at this, Henry. A little wiggly worm wiggling around. Brilliant. <sighs> look, it's a bird and it's flying. Cool. <laughs> Wait for me, football. Now there's no way you'd ever beat me because I'm the best. No, I'm the best. No, I'm the best. No, I'm the best. Wow. Two football boots! Awesome! <sighs> Hi everyone! What's up? We're having a football match, you see, and I'm going to beat him. That's what's up. Ha! Huh. How can you beat me when I'm going to beat you? Double ha! Huh? The Mighty Blues versus the Mighty Reds! Oh, it's going to be the greatest football match of all time! Mm, they both seem a little cross with each other. You're right, Henry! Oh, if only there was a referee around to make sure these two play fair. That could be a great idea, football. I could become a referee and I could help referee the match. That's a great idea, Henry. Good luck, Henry. You'll need it. <laughs> OK, Boots, we're going to play this game in the spirit of fairness. So no whinging, no cheating. And make sure you stick to the rules. Is tripping someone up considered cheating? Yes. What about tying to the team's shoelaces together? Yes, of course it is. Oh, can we stop all this jibber-jabber and just start the match? Pretty please? OK, football. But before we start, what's the most important thing when playing a sport? Winning! <laughs> No, it's taking part and having fun. Now, let's start this match. And we're off. <laughs> Red Boot has the ball. And out of nowhere comes Blue Boot, who's about to score. He kicks it. And it's surely a goal. Oh, but Red stopped it. What a save. Phew. Wait for me, please. And we're back. Red is about to score. It must be. It just has to be. Oh, but out of nowhere, Blue saves it. This is a real end-to-end -end battle. <laughs> it's a battle. End-to-end. -end. Uh, guys. Guys. Henry, I'm not sure that they can go on much longer. They both look very, very tired. <sighs> I know how they feel. <sighs> I give up. Oh, you were right, Blue Boot. You are the best. Oh, nonsense, Red Boot. You are by far the best. <sighs> no, I insist. You're the best. Maybe we can all agree. It's a draw. A draw? That means you're both the best! We are! Woo! calling me football. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine. And thanks for refereeing the match. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye bye Henry. Bye bye football. I'm coming mum. The day Shield. Good morrow, young squire. How are you today, Shield? I'm splendid, Henry. I've just had my daily polish. What do you think? Oh, yes, very shiny. Shield? Yes, Henry? What is it you do exactly? Well, Henry, brave knights use shields such as I to protect themselves on adventures. Wow, that sounds exciting, Shield. 
Have you been on any adventures today? Oh, I haven't been on an adventure in hundreds of years, Henry. These days I spend my time in the castle looking after our old rust bucket here. What? Is that the king? All hail to the king! <laughs> Hello there, suit of armour. It's not the king. It's just me, Henry. King Henry, it's an honour to meet you, Your Majesty. You'll have to excuse my friend, Henry. He just hasn't been the same since the incident. The incident? We were parted from our favourite sword during a battle with a ferocious dragon. He's never gotten over it. Oh, if only there was a brave knight around to help bring it back. That gives me a great idea, Shield. I could become a knight. <laughs> I could help bring Sword back. That's a great idea, Henry. Hello, Castle. Oh, hello, brave knight. You know where we could find the ferocious dragon? Dragon? Did you say dragon? Where? Yikes! Shh. Castle. Hello, Castle. What shall we do now? Castle looked really frightened. A brave knight never gives up, Henry. They never let anything stop them in their tracks. Tracks? That's it, Shield. Over there. They look like dragon tracks on the ground. And they're leading into the forest. Well, what are we waiting for, Henry? Let's go! Hello, pack of wolves. Hello, Hello Henry. Henry! Hello, Swan. Hello, Henry. Hello, Scary Tree. Hello, Henry. Looks like the tracks stop here, Henry. This cave must be the lair of the ferocious dragon. Come on, Shield. Follow me. Look at all this treasure, Henry. Hopefully Sword will be down here somewhere. Shield? Is that Sword over there? Sword, we're here to rescue you. Oh, how wonderful. Thank you both for finding me. I've been stuck in this rock for centuries. But be careful, I'm quite sharp. I finally have my best friend back. And there's no sign of any ferocious dragons. Run away! Bye-bye, <laughs> scary-looking tree. Bye-bye, smelly swamp. Bye-bye, pack of wolves. Phew. That was a close one. Thank goodness there's no sign of that. Dragon! What? Dragon? Where? Yikes! Phew, I think we've lost them. Don't worry, everyone. We're safe and sound here inside the castle. Ah! Oh, what shall we do, Henry? I've got an idea. did it, Henry! You rescued Sword and scared off the ferocious dragon. You truly are a brave knight. Thanks, Shield. But I couldn't have done it without your help. That's my mum calling me, Shield. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for reuniting me with Sword. You're welcome. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye bye, Henry. Bye bye, Shield. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met a parrot. <laughs> Hello, Parrot. Rag. Hello, Henry, my lad. How are you today, Parrot? I feel ship shape, Henry. I'm sat here in my perch, surrounded by all these paintings of the sea. Yeah. I've got the wind in me feathers. It's almost as good as being at sea on a pirate ship a hundred years ago. <laughs> Is it true pirates can live for more than a hundred years? Rag. It is, Henry. In fact, today's my 101st birthday. Wow. Happy birthday, Parrot. You must have seen some amazing things in your life. I have, Henry. Follow me and I'll show you the most amazing thing of all. Yarr! 
My grandfather was a famous pirate's parrot, and he left me his most prized possession. Wow! What is it, parrot? Is it a wooden leg? Is it a Jolly Roger flag? Is it his favourite eye patch? Better than all those, Henry. It's a treasure map. It could lead us straight to unknown riches that have been hidden for hundreds of years. What kind of unknown riches, Parrot? Um, I don't know. They're unknown. Maybe if we follow the treasure map, we can find out. Yarr! But you'd need a pirate ship to find buried treasure, and that's why I haven't gone in search of it before. That gives me a great idea, Parrot. I could become a pirate, and we could set sail on my ship and find the treasure together. Ah, That's a great idea, Henry. All right, you salty sea dogs. This is Captain Henry speaking. Cast off the main plank, mop all the decks, and ready the rudder. It's time to set sail. Mmm. Yar? Yar! We should probably check the treasure map now we've set sail. We don't want to bump into any giant, scary sea monsters. Good thinking, Pirate. Right then, which way to find the treasure? Well, as you can see, Captain, we are here. And we need to make our way along here, past the um, giant, scary sea monster, and straight on to the desert island. What was that you said, treasure map? You mumbled something. It kind of sounded like giant scary sea monster straight ahead. <laughs> Abandon ship! Uh, please don't eat us, giant scary sea monster. Oh, shiver me timbers, Henry! This is the worst birthday ever. A um, birthday? Did you just say birthday? Yes. It's Parrot's birthday today. Happy birthday, Parrot! Oh, I love birthdays. Now I feel terrible for scaring you in your special day. Is there anything I can do to make it up to you? Well, there is one thing. We'd really love to get to that desert island down there. Any chance of a lift? I can do better than that. Hop on! Woohoo! Thanks, giant scary sea monster. Anything for the birthday, boy. Ah, we made it, Henry. We made it to Treasure Island. And it looks like this is the spot, Pirate. Yeah, come on, Henry. Let's get digging. Ah, what is it, Henry? Is it gold? Is it diamonds? Better than those, Pirate. It's a surprise. It's all stuff for a party. Ah, my grandfather loved a good party. <laughs> Happy birthday, Parrot. This is the best birthday ever. The day Henry met a Parrot, he laughed along with everyone. The day they met a Parrot, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry. That's my mom calling me, Parrot. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me find my treasure. Arr! Yar! You're welcome, Parrot. Bye bye, Henry. <laughs> bye bye, Parrot. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met a guitar. <laughs> Hello, Guitar. Hey, hi. How you doing, kid? I'm good, Guitar. How are you? I feel wonderful, Henry. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. That sounded brilliant, Guitar. Thank you very much. You must have millions and millions of fans all over the world. Well, trouble is, Henry, Folk around these parts don't appreciate old instruments like us. They want to hear the cool modern instruments, uh, like keyboard and guitar over there. Oh, guten Tag, mein Fräulein. Oh, let's make party, ya? Uh? <laughs> well, I think you are all cool, and I'd love to see you playing in concerts. By the way, when is your next show? All right. Uh, 
Our next show. Well, you see, the thing is, Henry, we haven't played a show in over 40 years. Oh. It's not that we don't want to, Henry. Yeah, we'd love to. It's just, well, we don't have a singer, you see. That gives me a great idea, Guitar. I could become a singer, and I could join the band, and we could play a concert together. That's a great idea, Henry. And, uh, by the way, nice outfit, kid. Thank you very much. Uh, is this on? Whoops, sorry. Don't you fret, Henry. You go on now and introduce yourself. We're all right behind you, kid. You You'll do, do great, great Henry. Henry. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> go on, kid. I hope everyone enjoys the show tonight. Sorry, coming through. Don't mind me. Just say what you feel, Henry. Just say what you feel. Mm, let's rock and roll. Woohoo! Yeah! You're best, Henry! All right, Henry. I think it's time to introduce the band. Okay, guitar. Right behind me, keeping everyone in time, is a one and only fantastic drum. And to my right, he's only got four strings, but he'll hit all blow notes. It's a boom bastic bass. And last but not least, taking the lead is the six stringed wonder guitar. Henry, I think it's your turn. Oh, right. Good luck, Henry. Now sing your little itty bitty heart out, kid. Uh, guitar, I know I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but, um, I've never actually sung in front of anyone before. I'm a little bit nervous. Don't you worry about a thing, Henry. Everyone gets nervous. Shucks, uh, even I get nervous from time to time. Just try your best, Henry. Because music is all about having fun. Thanks, everyone. Okay, here goes. That's my mom calling me, Guitar. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry, and uh, thanks for performing with us. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mom. The day Henry met a microscope. Microscope. Ah, oh, hello, Henry. How are you today, Microscope? I feel spectacular, Henry. I've just made a breakthrough. I think I found. What have you just found? Your socks, your car keys, your marbles. I think I've just found the cure for smelly burps. Wow! That means no more smelly burps. Can I take a look and see what it? actually looks like. Of course you can, Henry. It would be my pleasure. Scientists use microscopes like me to see things that are really, really tiny, like these molecules. Hello, Henry! Hello, molecules. <laughs> now, Henry, the contents of this Petri dish are very, very important. So I'll just call my assistant to help us out. Well, did someone say they needed help? Uh-oh. Skeleton, what have I told you about running in the lab? That was the only cure I had made up. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Well, maybe you can just make up a new batch microscope. 
I would if I could, Henry, but I didn't make it on my own. I had a scientist helping me. Oh, if only there was someone here to help me again. That gives me a great idea, Microscope. I could become a scientist and I could help you recreate that cure. That's a great idea, Henry. Okay, the first rule of science is experiment, experiment, experiment. And if that doesn't work, then you experiment some more. <laughs> okay, Microscope, now let's recreate that cure. Hello, blackboards. Hello, Henry. Hello, test tubes. Hello, Henry. Hello, flasks. Hello, Henry. I think this is it. I think we've done it. Well, well done, done, Henry. But how will we know if it works? Only one way to find out. <gasps> Stop, Henry. That's far too dangerous. You mustn't drink something if you don't know that it's safe. But if I don't do it, who will? What? Me? Really? Are you sure this is safe, Microscope? It's okay, Henry. He's made of plastic, aren't you, Skeleton? That's right. Don't worry about me, Henry, okay? Bottoms up. <laughs> is anything happening? I don't feel any different. <laughs> what? What is it? Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> <laughs> it seems there are a few unexpected side effects to the new formula, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's back to the drawing board. <laughs> oh, we've tried everything, Microscope. I think we should take a break, Henry. Skeleton looks pretty shaken up. <laughs> shaken up? That's it, Microscope. <laughs> Try this, skeleton. Look, look, look. Look. Ah! Wow, that smells... It smells great. I can smell roses and lavender. I can smell fresh cut grass on a sunny day. Well done, everyone. We did it. We found the cure for smelly burps. <laughs> <laughs> calling me microscope i best be off it was really nice meeting you the pleasure was all mine henry and thanks for helping me you're welcome microscope and have a nice day bye bye henry bye bye microscope i'm coming mom the day Whale. Oh, oh, hello. It's me, Whale. It's Henry. Ah, sorry, Henry, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see a thing without my glasses. Just one mo. There, that's better. I can see you as clear as day now. How are you today, Whale? Oh, I feel great, Henry. Nothing like a refreshing early morning swim in the big blue sea to start the day. Whale? Can you breathe underwater? Whales can stay underwater for a long time. But we don't have gills, so we can't breathe underwater like fish do. So, how do you stay underwater for so long? I hold my breath, but I don't breathe out of my mouth or my nose like you do. I breathe out of my blowhole. <laughs> oh, Henry! Oh, my glasses! I've dropped them in the water! Oh, no! Can't you dive down and get them, Whale? I would, Henry, but I can't see a thing without them. Oh, if only there was someone around who could dive down and help me look. That gives me a great idea, Whale. I could become a deep-sea diver and I could help you find your glasses. That's a great idea, Henry. Let's go! <laughs> This 
place is beautiful. It certainly is, Hayley. But there's no time for sightseeing, Will. Let's find those glasses. Maybe they're behind this coral. Ah, Or under this shell. Uh, oh, or maybe they're even in this clam. Uh, I can't see them anywhere, Will. Oh, maybe that seaweed knows where my glasses are. <laughs> well, that's not seaweed. It's a seahorse. Oh, pardon me, seahorse. I've lost my glasses. Have you seen them by any chance? Oh, you haven't, I'm afraid. Well, maybe the big old shipwreck knows where they are. Great idea, seahorse. The big old shipwreck collects all sorts of things that end up at the bottom of the sea. Follow me, Henry. We'll have you there in no time. Hello, Anchor. Hello, Henry. Hello, submarine. Hello, Henry. Hello, octopus. Hello, Henry. I must be getting back to my training now, Henry. It's my big race tomorrow. Good luck finding those glasses. Thanks, seahorse. Hello, Henry. Hello, shipwreck. You look like you're looking for a bargain, Henry. I'm not wrong, am I? <laughs> We've got a smelly old mattress just floated in this morning. We found an old shoe with a hole in it and a chest of drawers with no drawers. Oh, a chest of drawers would look lovely in my sitting room. Well, we're here to find your green glasses, remember? What's that? Green glasses, you say? Let me see. I've got green barrels, green berets, and green bottles. But I'm sorry to say I don't have any green glasses. Oh dear, we'll never find my green glasses, Henry. Henry? Are you okay, Henry? Sh, sh, shark! Swim for your lives! Oh, shark, please don't eat us. We're not very tasty. <laughs> eat you? Don't be silly. I just wanted to tell you something. What was it you wanted to tell us, shark? I just wanted to tell you that I found your glasses. Seahorse told me you'd lost them. Oh, thank you, shark. Sorry, we thought you were going to eat us, shark. That's okay. It happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> the day Henry met a whale, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a whale, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me, whale. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me look for my glasses. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... A letter! <laughs> Letter. Hi, Henry. How are you today, Letter? To be honest, I'm a little bit nervous, Henry, but I'm really excited at the same time. Why is that, Letter? Oh, sure, Letter's been posted today. We're very proud of her. Aren't we, Telephone? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, our little Letter's going on her first trip into the big wide world. Mom, Dad, stop it. I'll be fine. Wow, travelling sounds so amazing. But it's really important you don't forget anything. Oh, Henry's right, Letter. What about the address? Do you have the address? If you don't have the address, you won't know where you're going. I have the address. It's right here, see? Oh, and you can't go anywhere without a stamp, you know. I have one around here somewhere. <laughs> Thanks, stamp. Right, I think that's everything. You best be on your way, love. You don't want to miss the two o'clock post. The two o'clock post? But it's almost three. Oh, you've missed a post collection. What will you do now? Oh, if only there was a postman here to help. That gives me a great idea, Letter. I could become a postman and I could help deliver you myself. That's a great idea, Henry. Come rain or shine, I promise I'll deliver you on time. Woohoo! Hello, Henry. 
Hello, corner shop. Hello, Henry. Hello, bus stop. Hello, Henry. Hello, hedgehog. Hello, Henry. The sorting office is just up ahead, Henry. We'll be there in no time. Letter, what exactly is a sorting office? Follow me, Henry, and I'll show you. This is where letters and parcels from all over the world end up. Guten Tag! Konnichiwa! Good day, mate. Hello, everyone. And then we all get sorted in the mailroom. Come on, Henry, jump in. Letter. Hello, post fan. Hello, Henry. Now don't forget to fasten your seatbelt. <laughs> we'll do, post fan. We'll do. <laughs> Thanks, post fan. Here we are, letter. Now, all I have to do is post you through the letterbox. Woof woof. Ah, a dog! Please don't slobber on us. What's the matter, Letter? Henry, everyone knows dogs and postmen don't get along. Don't get along? Nonsense. One of my best friends is a postman. I was just welcoming you into my lovely home. Thanks a lot, dog. Sorry. Not at all. Now, can I offer you a glass of cranberry juice with a splash of orange? I'm a fruity little number. Thanks for asking, dog, but I have a job to do. Well, Henry, that was some adventure. Travelling is always an adventure, especially when you have a good friend by your side. The day Henry met a letter, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a letter, he made lots of friends. That's my mum calling me letter. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. Oh, aren't you forgetting something, Henry? <laughs> of course. I still have to post you through the letter box. Thanks, Henry. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, letter. I'm coming, mum. The day Henry met a panda. Panda. Oh, um, hello, Henry. Is everything all right, Panda? Oh, I'm sorry, Henry. How rude of me. Everything's fine. In fact, everything is better than fine. Why is that, Panda? Did you finish your painting? Are you going snorkelling? Did you buy new roller skates? Better than all of those, Henry. My cousin from China is coming over for a visit. Oh, I can't wait to give her a big hug when she gets here. Wow, that's great news, Panda. I love it when my cousins come to visit. Delivery for a Miss Panda. Oh, that's me. How exciting. Do I look OK, Henry? You look lovely, Panda. I'll just pop it here, shall I? <laughs> oh, um, Chinese pandas are a lot browner, hairier and altogether sleepier than I expected. I'm not a panda. I'm a sleuth. Well, of course you are, but if you're here, then where's my cousin? I hope she's not lost somewhere in the zoo, panda. Oh, if only there was a zookeeper around that could help us look for my cousin. That gives me a great idea, panda. I could become a zookeeper, and I could help find your cousin. That's a great idea, Henry. Come on, everyone, let's go. I'm right behind you. Looks like Sloth has fallen asleep hanging upside down. Sloth's had a long trip, Panda. I'm sure he'll catch up with us later. Hello, Lime. Shh, Henry. I got my eyes on that lovely gazelle over there. 
You're it. Oh, Lion, you get me every time. Come back here, you. Um, Lion, Gazelle, have either of you seen another panda like me around? <laughs> Sorry, Panda. I haven't, I'm afraid. We've been too busy playing tag to notice anything. Oh, actually, that reminds me. Lion? Yes? You're it. <laughs> Come back here, you. Looks like this could be a long day, Panda. Zebra, have you seen any pandas today? Afraid not, Henry. I've been too busy finishing my painting. Hippo! Any chance have you seen another panda like me around today? Sorry, Panda. I've been too busy snorkeling today. Hello, Elephant. Have you seen any pandas like this one around today? No, sorry, Henry. I've been too busy on my roller skates. <laughs> what are we going to do, Henry? We've searched everywhere and there's still no sign of my cousin. Not quite everywhere, Panda. Excuse me, signpost. Do you know the way to the sloth enclosure? Well, I most certainly do, Henry. It's that way. Thanks, signpost. Hello, Mummy Sloth. Have you seen any other pandas around here today? Pandas? Here? Today? I haven't, I'm afraid. Whoa! Are you okay, Cousin Sloth? Sorry about this, but my cousin arrived yesterday from South America. And he hasn't really got the hang of the whole sleeping whilst hanging upside down thing yet. Have you, Cousin Sloth? How many times do I have to tell you I'm not a sloth? I'm a... Panda, it's you. You've been here all along. The deliveries must have gotten mixed up. But if you're not a sloth, then where's my cousin? Here I am. <laughs> I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me find my cousin. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... A balloon! <laughs> Hello, Balloon. Hello there, Henry. How are you today, Balloon? I'm fantastic, Henry. You can't beat the life of a balloon. We're bright, colorful, and always the first ones invited to parties. <laughs> balloon? Yes, Henry? How do you float around like that? Is it magic? Oh, it's much better than magic, Henry. I'm filled with helium. Tell Henry all about it, boys. Hello. Hello. Helium is an inert gas that floats around without much mass and has no color, odor, or taste. But us balloons, we think it's great. <laughs> I wish I could float around all day like you, Balloon. There's not much time for floating about today, though, Henry. It's the day of the big circus show. Me and the boys are performing on stage with the funniest, most amazing clown ever, aren't we, boys? We sure are. <laughs> I'd love to see a big circus show, Balloon. Well, we better get you a ticket then, Henry. One child's ticket, please, Ticket Booth. I can give you a ticket, but it won't be much use. I'm sorry to say, the show has been cancelled. Cancelled? The clown's tour bus has broken down and he can't make it to the show. Sorry. This is a disaster. How are we meant to put on a show without our star clown? That gives me a great idea, Balloon. I could become a clown and I could help put on the show. That's a great idea, Henry. Balloon, I feel like I'm missing something. <sighs> Sorry I'm late. Ah, uh, that's it. Thanks, Nose. Hello, boys and girls. And snacks of all ages. <laughs> For my first clown-tastic trick, I'll need the help of my inflatable assistant. Balloon! 
Is that OK, Balloon? Of course, Henry. It would be my pleasure. What do you have in mind? Well, oh. Oh, oh, careful now. <laughs> that tickles. Ta-da. Oh, um, <laughs> woof, woof. That was great, Henry. The crowd is loving the show so far. Whatever will you do next? Just you wait and see, Balloon. Hello, Cannon. Hello, Henry. Woohoo! Hello, trampoline. Hello, Henry. Hello, rings. Hello, Henry. Ta da! <laughs> wow, Henry. That was the best final act I have ever seen. That's not the final act, Balloon. Henry will now attempt the gravity-defying tightrope walk of doom. Please do not try this at home. Safety nets at the ready! Here I go, everyone. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Yes, be careful, Henry. Mind your step. I'm so excited I could just push. Whoa! Ah! Don't worry. We've got you, Henry. Thanks, everyone. Just drop me off up here, please. Ta-da! You did it, Henry. You made it across the tight rope, and you saved the show. Thanks, Balloon. But I couldn't have done it without your help. Now, anyone want the custard pie? <laughs> <laughs> my mom calling me, Balloon. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. Thanks for helping us put on a great circus show. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mom. The day Henry met... A train! <laughs> Hello, Train. How's it going, Henry? How are you today, Train? I'm wonderful, Henry. It's a beautiful sunny day, the birds are singing, and I feel toot-tastic. Toot, toot. <laughs> train, why do you have a chimney up there on your head? That's because I'm a steam engine, Henry. What's a steam engine? Well, you see, Henry, my engines burn lots of coal. The hot coal turns water into steam, and the steam turns my wheels. Then I get to blow any extra steam out my chimney. Toot toot! <laughs> toot toot! I wish I could go on a train ride one day. Oh, that reminds me, Henry. I have to go on a trip to the ranch today to drop off all these animals. Hello, Henry! Hello, everyone. That's a lot of different animals, Train. Maybe we should make sure you're not forgetting anyone. That's a great idea, Henry. Let's do a roll call. Horse? Here. Pigs? Here. Cow? Here. Train driver? Um, train driver? Where is he, Train? He must have gotten off at the wrong stop. What shall we do now? If only there was another train driver around to help. That gives me a great idea, Train. I could become a train driver, and I could help you take all the animals back to the ranch. That's a great idea, Henry. Radio train, let's get going. Oh, why aren't we moving, train? We won't get very far without any fuel. Try a lump of coal or two, Henry. Hello, Henry. Hello, Henry. Hello, Coles. Stand back, Henry. These little fellas are going to get hot, hot, hot. Then you don't want to get burnt. <laughs> that should do it, Henry. Now hold on tight, and I'll take it from here. Let's go. Hello, Cactus. Howdy, Henry. Hello, Windmill. Hello, Water Tower. Hello, Henry. Hello, Canyon. Hello, Henry! 
You're doing a wonderful job, Henry. You're a natural. We're nearly at the ranch already. That's great news, Train. Now, as long as the old bridge up ahead hasn't collapsed again, we should be there in no time. Oh, no! Train, look! Oh! The old bridge! It has collapsed again! Quick, Henry, pull the brakes! Henry, I said it's time to pull the brakes! Quick, Henry! But I am pulling the brake, Train. Oh, no! We're gonna crash! Don't give up just yet, Train. There must be something we can do. Well, what do you expect me to do? Jump over the canyon? That's it, Train. We can jump the canyon. Oh, but Henry, we'd have to be going really, really fast to do that. Don't worry, Train. I've got an idea. Okay. Ready, everyone? Ready, Henry! And let's go! You're doing great, Henry! Thanks, Train. Just one more piece of coal, and that should do it. Henry, here comes the canyon! Hold on tight, everyone! help from some new friends. Now, who wants to go to the ranch? My mom calling me train. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. Thanks for helping me get the animals to the ranch. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye bye, Henry. Bye bye. I'm coming, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> 